What's up my Pongyos, Annie with Tech Influence here, excited to go over a comparison video of three of what are my favorite NVMe M.2 SSD hubs for your Mac Mini or your Mac Mini Pro M4. There's a number of them out there here and I think these three fit my lifestyle the best. You've got the one from Orico, which is a hub that sits on top of the Mac Mini. It's got four USB-A ports, two of them 3.2 and two of them 2.0. It's got the dedicated SD card reader and micro SD card reader with headphone and microphone jack. The MVME M.2 SSD does transfer speeds at 10 gigabits a second through USB type C. The pull top is a dock that fits on the bottom of the Mac mini that gives you uniquely 4K 60 Hertz HDMI out with three USB 2.0 ports, audio jack, SD card reader, and up to 10 megabits a second and up to 10 gigabits a second MVME M.2 drive that does support a four terabyte stick. Lastly, you got the dock from Cools Lab that fits underneath the Mac Mini, giving you three USB-A 2.0s, an audio jack, NVMe slot that fits up to the standard, as well as allowing you transfer speeds up to 40 gigabits a second. With that said, each one of these are unique. They do fit my lifestyle, my workflow, and my Mac Mini. Each one of them has pros and cons, which I'm gonna hopefully be able to illustrate all of that here today. With that said, this video is sponsored. I did receive these from each one of the companies, and down below we'll have their link as affiliates there for you to check out the pricing and availability. With that said, let's go ahead and unbox all of these, compare all of them, show you what you can get yourself into and see if this is something that you're interested in. All right, here they all are lined up side by side. They're all about the same thickness and internals here. Each of them coming to about a half of an inch up to about an inch thick. Each one of them has their own ports and they're all made out of anodized aluminum here and plastic. All of them look fantastic as well. As you can see here, the pull top does have the HDMI out that gives you 4K60. You do have on the middle one for the Eureka, a higher caliber USB 3.2. And then lastly, Quiz Labs has a really interesting ergonomic design that kind of hoists up your Mac Mini giving you up to four USB ports if you wanted to use this for multiple functions, including camera, microphone, and other USB peripherals that you could use to stream, to make content, you name it. Each one of them have obviously the slot for the NVMe drive. They all fit the exact same sizes, allowing for the 2230, which is the shorter stick, up to 2280, which is what I used here. I currently have installed on the Orico. Let's go ahead and show these off individually on location at my workspace. Here's my Mac mini. We're going to align this little indent with where the power is. You place it down and then you just place it right on top and the silicone pad there will align it appropriately, giving you a nice, comfortable and protected hub there to be able to make content. Okay, showing you here a very full connected to all my peripherals. We've got obviously the power on the Mac mini 1080p monitor and then a couple of hard drives and we've obviously got the USB cable that's connected to the pull top. On the pull top here, we've got our second monitor as well as our peripherals for our keyboard. We've also got my headphones connected to it as well as a slot for the micro SD card. It just press fits right in and then your SD card as well. All right, this is my complete workflow in order, placing my headphones on and being able now to fully utilize all the functions of the hub, allowing for my main 4K 60 Hertz display, as well as my vertical display 1080p for some of my other workflow. Showing you here my workflow on the main 4K screen, I've got my content for editing. And then over on the side here, I've got my file management, which is nice vertically being able to orient both screens as extended displays is really nice. Showing you up close, we have access to every single drive that I connected into it. This is my main workflow from one of my USB-C drives. This is the drive that is the M.2 enclosure. Showing you here, it's a two terabyte M.2 enclosure where I've got all my games, my other hard drive, as well as the SD card, as well as the micro SD card and SD card respectively. I've got a five gigabyte file that I wanna move on to the M.2 
drive. We're gonna go ahead and just copy it onto the M.2 drive, showing you the read write speeds from the SD card. Moving five gigabytes is less than a minute. It's so fast. And then having the, S. the M.2 drive as well is just as quick being able to move at lightning speeds. Now that my workflow is in place, I can go ahead now, send the audio signal to my headphones. I can finish editing here and pulling files as needed from my folders into my workflow. I think this is really great to be able to have. Really impressed with this dock, how sleek it is. It's such low profile and it can just sit right here beside of my desk and look great. Okay, we're here on location with the dock and I've got my Mac mini, let's connect it and also all my peripherals so we can take some calls, do FaceTime with my camera and have some headphones to be able to have some privacy. Alrighty, setup is really easy. You wanna match this little hole with where the power is on that side. You can place it down. It's got these nice silicone pads. It'll also grip on with the silicone pads of the stand itself. It just fits right into that slot and it looks really great there on the face. Let's go ahead and plug in the IO on the back. I've got the USB type C here that's going to fit right there. I'm gonna go ahead and, and use the USB 2.0 for my camera, plug that in. And then I've also got my headphone jack that we wanna plug in as well. Now that all of those are plugged in, we can go ahead and turn it around. I still have these two ports to plug into, which I want to get my mouse and keyboard. There's the mouse, there's the keyboard. And then you can see the green line is showing that it is currently connected. Lastly, we can plug in the ethernet. There's my gigabit of ethernet plugged in. You've got all the ports. Build. Let's go and show you what that looks like here on the Mac Mini. We've got my headphones plugged in here first. It completely is integrated here with the keyboard and mouse, the USB. And then right here, you can see the Orico. This is the M.2 drive with some of my backups. I've obviously got my workflow. This is my T7 Shield, which has got all my other data. We can go ahead now and we can copy data over from one to the other, showing you the transfer speeds. The time estimating is five seconds for 1.3 gigs. That is so fast. Just incredible speeds here connected. Showing you here, this is the camera connected into it. It's really nice to be able to have a camera for Mac mini and the USB 3.0 does use it. There is a microphone connected here on the camera itself, or I actually have a microphone built into my headset that you can access when making calls or even making content. I'm very pleased with the outcome of this docking station. I think the M.2 SSD NVMe drive is one of the fastest that I've seen these docks move speeds at. I think it's really nice to be able to have, especially if you didn't expand the storage necessarily for this base level. It does support up to very high capacity NVMe M.2 drives. And it's got such a sleek low profile. I really like how it lifts the Mac mini up in the air and it looks really cool. Okay, we're here at my workspace. I've got my Mac Mini and I've also got the Mini Link Orico dock here set up. We've plugged it in. Let's go ahead now and put all of our peripherals to plug in everything that we need, including keyboard. I've got a mouse, I've got a headset. I've also got a couple of hard drives and then obviously the NVMe M.2 drive that's inside. Provided is in a 10 gigabit USB 3.0 to USB type C, which I'm gonna be using here to plug into the back to get high speed for my hard drive. We've got a webcam that requires USB 3.0. I'm gonna plug that in on the back. I'm gonna plug in my hard drive. We've got my headphone jack. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug in the USB cable. Really high quality braided cable. Once you plug it in, you can go ahead and press the button and that's gonna power it on. Then you'll immediately hear the fans. We wanna go ahead and plug in my mouse and keyboard. I've got my SD card, we'll plug in. Then I've got my micro SD card for my 360 camera. Now I've got everything plugged in and you can see I've got my Insta360 X5 SSD, micro SD card. We've got the M.2 Orico 256. I've also got obviously the Samsung hard drive that I plugged in through USB 3.2. And then we've got my SD card, 120 gigabyte gold scan disk. Let's go and show you some of the read write speeds. We're gonna grab this eight gigabyte file and just drag it onto the hard drive. You can see here almost nine gigabytes are moving super fast within four minutes, that's pretty good. We can go ahead and show you here from the M.2 drive, we've got this 1.3 gigabyte file, we're transferring that over. You can see here, it's starting to cook pretty fast, less than a minute, very quick to be able to 
transfer. Here's some 360 footage. They're a little bit larger. This is about five gigs we're gonna move over, showing you here how fast the read write speeds are. For about five gigs, this is three minutes, which is about half as fast as the nine gig. Being able to add this to your workflow, really nice to be able to have these very quick read write speeds. And my favorite part about it here is that you've got access to both the micro SD card and the SD card simultaneously, whereas some of the competitors do not have that available. We boot up FaceTime for the first time and you can see my webcam is completely connected and it's recognized immediately, allowing me to take calls and work from this workspace. With that said, I'm ready to continue on with my workflow. I will uh, get this video finished here. I've got my headphones in, giving me a really clear sound, plugging into that 3.5 millimeter jack, which is really nice. With that said, I think each one of these are very unique. They definitely have their strengths and their weaknesses. Each of them are very durable and they worked as expected with the Mac Mini. Although I do have my biggest gripe with the Orico because I had such a hard time mounting the MVME drive and this back mount magnetizes, but it's not very strong. The pool top seemed to be getting the hottest, but I did like having that HDMI cord. The Quiz Labs, I think, had a lot of awesome options here, being able to have multiple USBs and the audio out jack. Ultimately, I think the pool top is going to be the winner. It has the HDMI cord that is out. It also has the SD card and micro SD card reader. I do have a 360 camera as well as my studio camera, so having the extra SD card reader is important. I like to have two monitors when I edit. So having the HDMI out is fantastic. The Orico was the second as the winner. The Quiz Lab was the second winner because this one had the fastest speeds. It was really great to be able to move hundreds of gigabytes of data so quickly. And I think Orico is nice. Orico has probably the best presence here as it's a more name brand. It does have a lot of options, but I didn't find myself leaning to it because you have to have a dedicated power for the internal fan. And then I didn't like installing the SSD because it was cumbersome. I'll have links for these in the description here you guys can check out. This video is sponsored and each one of these companies did send me these products complimentary. Hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more. Andy with Tech Influence here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.